M0FXB, ICOM 7610, dual watch. If you look here, it says dual watch. There's a button here, press it, dual watch. We're now out of dual watch, press it again. Put in dual watch, you see that the subband comes to life and these work independently. See the orange square around there, if I tap here. Once you select the orange square around this section, then you are controlling that section's settings. For example, if we go to reflector, change the level with the large VFO knob. You can see it's changing. We come out of that and we just tune. You see the tuning is changing. If we tap the subband, let's turn up the volume. Now we have separate volume squelch RF gain here as well. So let's just go to sub by just tapping here. Now we're changing the, the frequency. Note that when this was highlighted by tapping the white, we're changing the frequency, but when we tap the orange square here, the frequency isn't changing, but the settings are. Reflector there is minus 14, tap here orange square, reflector, minus 18. So your waterfall settings are separate. Tap here, we can change band just by tapping the screen, tapping the frequencies, all the normal settings that you would set. Looking at noise reduction settings, so we'll tap the white frequency, hold down, level is 11. Tap the scope, hold down, it's still 11, but if we tap the frequency, hold down, 8, that's independent. Same goes for the filters. So we've got filter 3 there, and filter 1 here just by pressing the filter button. And you can see it's changing up here as well. We tap this one, and then now it's changing up here. We hold our finger on the signal meter. You now get your multifunction meter. Looks fantastic, doesn't it? Correct me if I'm wrong, but to transmit on the subband, you just hit the split button and the transmit is moved to, to the subband. If there's another way, please let me know. And you can see how the meters are switching over as well. And note, it's almost like you have two meters, because look, we've got a meter here, and the meter above. You select this half, and we'll tune, turn up the volume, independent volumes, tap the frequency. With all the double screw jack from a Land Rover I had, which uh, should be fairly substantial, so maybe I'll get around to doing it myself, but uh, not, uh, if I do it, I'm not looking forward to it. Anyway, Meters there. It just looks so good. We could look at this all day long. We go M. See that? You get your meters back. This is M scope. Let's hold it down. Back to the beginning. Tuner, of course. Tuner's here. If we tap there, everything's going to tune independently. You've actually got an on screen transmit button there as well. You've got your XFC button. You can mute the audio just by pressing the bottom VFO or the top. It goes to an orange colour. Now if you want the, the, the meters to be above, you know, stacked, press EXP set, hold it. See it says dual scope, you just scroll up and down, side by side, tap it, click over under, back out, and then it will do it that way. I prefer it the other way because, you, you know, it's, it lines with the, the frequency. Hold it down. There you go. That's how I like it. Oh, did I do that correct? 
There you are, dual, and then you know, large or small. You've got your oscilloscope as well, menu, audio. You get your oscilloscope, very nice. So it's like an Icom 7300 times two. That, that's how I look at this. It's uh, it's it's substantially bigger than the 7300, which is a fantastic radio, as is the 705 that I've got. Uh, and um, you know, it's all dependent on your budget, but you will love both radios. This one, you do get. You need a bigger screen to to run all this functionality. So I just thought I'd show you that on dual watch. Any more tips? Please let me know. But I'm enjoying. Uh, this radio immensely. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Please remember to like and subscribe if you're finding these videos interesting and they are learning videos. M0FXB73, all the best.